What's up guys, Evans B here. So it is finally that time of the year. It's, it's gonna be May. Gonna be May. In this uh, month of May, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna present you to a challenge that I really want you guys to try. It's not gonna be easy and it's gonna push your lighting skills and your composition skills to the other limit. It is called the F8 challenge. So what is the F8 challenge? We're gonna take some portraits outdoors using F8 as an aperture. So you may be wondering why, why F8 out of all the apertures? Uh, I think because as photographers, we're kind of forgetting that there are other things in HSS that exist in life and we can use it to our advantage. I mean, back then, they didn't have all the fun stuff that we have. They didn't have HSS, they didn't have uh, like flash that's one 250. Oh. I have a camera of one that takes up one three. Like, what would you do with one three? So why the F8 challenge? The F8 challenge comes from a thing that I keep saying as a joke. Um, if your lens ain't great, you can use F8. Any lens that you might have, it could be a crappy kit lens that you have that was given with you with your camera, like the 18 105 or the 14, uh, the 24 or whatever. At lower apertures, it's not, it is not the sharpest thing that you have on earth, but at higher apertures, which is f8 or more you can get a decent shot uh, with anything that you have so you can now prank out the old old kit lens that you have and plug it in your camera and see what happens and the other reason why i like the f8 as a challenge is because it's going to force you to think about composition in a way that you maybe haven't done so in a while with the advent of uh, hss and the advent of uh, high speed sync so basically using a very low aperture and a high shutter speed to uh, bulky out the background. What happened is I think um, the community as a whole maybe start using less and less the classic composition methods that we have and start using more and more HSS as a means to just like, yeah, let's not care about that. Let's just like bulky out the rest of this, the, the, the background and just place my subject and later, or him or her, which is, I, I actually like HSS. It's not a big of a problem, but I think going back to the roots of just using F8 or more higher apertures to make everything sharp and well thought of is a better measurement of your skills as a photographer and only using HSS all the time. So for this assignment, what I really want you guys to focus on is using an aperture of F8 and more and think about the classical composition that you have, which could be leading lines, repeating patterns, or or anything that is within that realm. And with that in mind, um, again, if the situation calls for F8, please don't use F8 only. Uh, you can use F8 or more. I actually want you guys to really focus on getting a hyper, higher aperture than just simply at 1.8 or 1.4, 1.6, doesn't matter. But F8 or more is 100% welcome. For this assignment also, I want to make sure that uh, you guys either try strobing in natural light, it doesn't really matter to me, your style will be uh, dependent on uh, the weather conditions. But if you do strobe, then I think you have a slight edge over everyone else because you can get extra, extra crisp shot and you can do some extra stuff that creatively that you wouldn't be able to do with natural light. So again, it's open to natural light and strobing, but if you like to strobe, well, you're part of my game. So for this assignment, we're gonna be shooting in May only. So from May 1st to May 31st, although it's an open assignment, you may participate if you want or not. I think it's a really good challenge to push yourself as a photographer and as a, as a really good composer of shots, which means creating a shot from layer to layer, which means from the background to the foreground to the subject. I will also be shooting my own uh, FA challenge because I think it's uh, good for me to redo so because I do these assignments also as a means to remind myself of certain techniques or certain uh, rules that we might have forgotten and it's good to go back to. So expect from me from this month a behind the scenes uh, with a f8 or more aperture i'll be sharing the details of how i think about composition location selection and also how i place my subject to have more fun with this so if you have any questions about the assignment or techniques of composition make sure you fire them below if you haven't subscribed yet to the youtube channel or well, actually my youtube channel uh, please do so and if you have any questions again uh, you can either do so in the youtube comments or join the group in master light and if you do ask for the join in, please make sure you answer the questions so I can see your requests first or else I don't get to see them. So that's it guys, hope you're having fun with this assignment. Again, it's open for the month of May 2019. Uh, the FA challenge will really push you and I think in a good way to think about more composition, which will translate into anything else you do in photography. So guys, have fun with this one. I'll see you in the behind the scenes. Happy shooting and good luck.